Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Prunus brand. Their portable shortwave radio it has an FM radio, AM radio, and shortwave 1 and shortwave 2. It also has a built-in LED flashlight and it can be operated with AC 115 volts and there's an included power cord or 3D cell batteries, which are not included, you have to provide that. It has excellent reception, we're gonna demonstrate, and a uh, knob on the side that has two different sizes. You have a large and a small. The large is for moving more rapidly, and then this is for t doing the final tuning on here. Now, shortwave uh, radio is used for broadcasting of voice and music to shortwave listeners over very large areas, sometimes entire continents or beyond. The radios used to be huge that fill up a table. I'm going to show a picture of an old shortwave radio. Now they're all small and high tech. Shortwave is like a miracle actually when it's beamed at the right angle it hits the ionosphere and it mirrors all the way across the earth and it falls like a ball back down into these radios. So these transmissions reach listeners over large areas, continents and beyond. So that's unique. A lot of people don't know about this anymore because of the internet, but it's still very cool and you can really pick up some really nice things. Now there is a powerful digital signal processor chip inside here. 31 inch long antenna we're going to show and I mentioned the flashlight the crystal clear sound and uh, we're going to show how simple it is to operate this so let's just go over some of the controls on here on the left you're going to see it has the emergency LED and it's very simple you just click this in that direction and it comes on now notice right now I don't have any power cord on here. On the back there is the AC power and then the included power cord. So right now I'm operating this in emergency mode using batteries. And in the back right here it does hold 3D batteries. Just put the outer two in first and the middle one second and put the polarity going in that direction. It's just that simple. Now here you can also see in the back it has a very nice antenna that extends really high and you need that for the reception. And there's that knob I was talking about that's got the two different sizes on there. And then if you look closely over here you can see that there is an auxiliary input so you can use a 3.5 millimeter to send audio to this and there's an output headphone. So if you want to have private listening, you can put headphones on. Now going to the front of the unit, there is the speaker. It looks like it's a, a three inch speaker, which is nice. It has a tune indicator that will turn green when it picks up the given station that's locked in. And then you have the button here, which is FM, AM, SW1, and SW2. Very simple to operate. So I'm going to uh, show you how to operate this to pick up all the different bands. And if you notice, it's old fashioned. I like that old school look. It's not digital. It's got the nice feel to it. This moves really smoothly and it has a little indicator on there so that you can see a little silver indicator. And it has all the bands there, the FM, the megahertz, the kilohertz for AM, and megahertz for the SW1 and SW2. Uh, so it's old school and good looking. So it's really high tech inside here, it's digital, but you have the old school feel to this. And on the top is the power button and a volume on there. So that's built in nicely on the top so you can't accidentally bump it. And then it has this nice handle on here with a nice tactile feel. It's got little cutouts on there so you can easily carry this. And it's not bad with those D cells, the three of them, it still doesn't weigh that much. So I'm gonna be demonstrating now how to pick up the different four bands 
on the Prunus J-15. So here's the FM radio. I, I'm in my upstairs uh, kitchen and I have the FM radio on and you can see that the tune green LED is on because I found the station. And then you just simply turn this to tune and you find another station. And therefore, Kirby should not be granted a new trial. Now I switched it to AM and I found an AM station. PowerPoint. He didn't kill people with And the tune like works also, time. which is PowerPoint nice. Flag. See? That it goes in and out. Off track a little bit, but it's well worth so that lets you know that you've locked into the, the station. Yeah. So here we have it on the SW1 position. And you can get some stations coming in. Now this is this is from Spain. And you can move the antenna to change the gain of it. And the tune does work when you get a strong enough signal. So I got about three different uh, stations throughout the world. So here's a radio station that's broadcasting on SW2. I don't know what country it's from. Sounds like it might be from Ireland. So what do I think about the Prunus brand portable shortwave radio with FM, AM, N, and shortwave has built an emergency flashlight, can operate with three D cell batteries or power with the included cable, AC power cable. This is a cool product. You know, a lot of people don't know about shortwave and I think they can really get into it if they have one of these radios and learn about it and listen to some international broadcast, which is really nice. This has a nice profile to it. It feels good, feels solid. I love the old-fashioned tuning knob on here with that thing moving and all the controls. and It just sounds good too. The audio was really clear. So I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.